Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video because it is inspired by Kylie Jenner and I feel like everyone these days wants to either have their makeup done like her or their hair like her or even their lips like her. So I thought I might as well do a video to show you guys what I would do if I were gonna do a Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look. So this is what I came up with. Very glowy, contoured, but still like peachy tones, wearable for every day. So go ahead and keep watching if you wanna see how I got this glowy look. And please subscribe if you haven't, so you can see all my videos because I'm gonna be doing so many more of these videos for you guys. So go ahead and keep watching. <laughs> okay guys, so usually when I start my makeup, I always do a mask first. Once my mask is all the way off, I am ready to go ahead and start with the makeup. And today we're gonna start with the face first because when I do my own makeup, I always do my face makeup first and then I do my eyes last. And in a lot of my videos, I've been showing you guys my eyes first and then face last. So we're gonna switch it up today for you guys. So I just did the Glam Glow Gravity Mud. This is what it looks like. If you guys are interested in checking that out. And for my lips, I always wear this lip balm. This is from Tatcha. It's the Gold Chamele Chameleon Nourishing Lip Balm. I love this stuff. It really hydrates my lips. And you guys all know, if you follow me on Instagram, I do have lip injections. So when they are more plump and bigger, I feel like they get more capped. So I always put this on before, during, and after like my makeup. And the moisture that I'm gonna be using today is from Lancome. I'm totally gonna botch how to say this but it is the Aqua Vital Moisturizer. And this is my first time using this, so I'll let you guys know what I think about it. It does say it's for normal to combination skin, which is my skin type, so we'll see how it works. And I just put about two pumps on my hand, and then I'm just gonna apply it straight to my skin. So in today's video, I am using a lot of products that are brand new that I haven't tried yet and I have a lot of luxury brands as well as I have some drugstore brands too. Um, but I'm gonna be trying this new foundation. This is from Charlotte Tilbury and it's called the Magic Foundation. I love Charlotte Tilbury's line. It's like so luxury and beautiful and I've heard a lot about this foundation. I actually met with her and she told me that she uses this on all her celebrities. So let's check it out and see if it is worthy for us to try on a daily basis. I'm gonna be using shade seven and shade 4.5. I do have like a little bit of a spray tan still on, so I'm gonna mix these two to get like a nice olive shade. We're gonna be using the Morphe sponge, I almost called this a beauty blender. So I'm using this for this first time as well, and it is damp. So I'm gonna be doing about one and a half pumps of seven, because I, I literally look so white right now, but I'm not this white. And then I'm gonna be doing, this one's got a pump. Like one pump of 4.5. There's actually a lot of product that comes out in just one pump. And then I'm gonna be applying it straight through the skin. Holy shit, it looks really dark. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. We're just gonna keep blending. Okay guys, I honestly wasn't liking the coverage that that was giving me. I feel like if I'm wanting a more like beachy everyday look, I'll use the um, Magic Found Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury, but I wanted something a little bit more coverage, especially for this Kylie look. Like I'm going for a glowy, super contoured, but definitely a full coverage look. So I'm gonna be using instead, I'm gonna add some of Frankie Rose, which by the way, if you guys have not heard of Frankie Rose, it is a smaller brand. They're, they're very new to the industry, but their products are so good. I've been doing makeup for years and I tried them about two years ago and their foundations were my favorite. My favorite shades for foundations are olive and vintage. Today I'm a little bit lighter, so I'm gonna be using vintage. 
And the concealer that I'm gonna be using today, this is one of my favorite concealers. This is from Maybelline and it is the shade Sand. So it's number 20 from Maybelline and I'm pretty sure this is Fit Me. It is. It's the Fit Me concealer. I love this stuff. So this is a drugstore concealer, but literally it's like better than luxury concealers. This does have a lot of yellow in it. So if you want it a little bit lighter, you can go a little lighter, but I know that we're already gonna bronze this look up, so I'm not really worried that it's not too light. Blending away. Literally blend for like 10 minutes. Okay, now that we are done with the concealer, the foundation, we're ready to contour, which is, I feel like, one of the biggest things that Kylie does, she always has on point contour. So today I'm gonna be using as well the concealer from Maybelline and the shade I'm using is Cafe and then I'm also gonna be using Dark, maybe. No, we're just gonna be using Cafe today. This is a really good shade to contour. So honestly, I just use these two to highlight underneath the eyes as well as you know the dark one to contour. You just need these guys. So if you are a contour girl on a budget, you better be picking these up because they are gonna change how you sculpt your face. So I'll show you guys how I contour with this darker shade from Maybelline. So you're just gonna pick this wand up. Get my hair out of my way. And we are just going to do the forehead. The cheekbones, and I'm gonna go with the highest point of the cheekbone. So right here and down, like that. Instead of going from the ear out, because this is really gonna make your cheekbones look super high, super snatched, super sculpted. Go on the jaw, like that. What you're gonna wanna use to blend out is a stippling brush, and my favorite one is from Luxie. It's the 550 Duo Fiber Short. And it, this is a really good blending brush for contouring because it's so small. MAC has one that's super similar, but this is just gonna get a really nice, soft, just airbrush look to your contour. So we're gonna start off right here. Circular motions, we're just going to blend it towards our hairline. Remember to blend it into your hairline because Sometimes I'm like a bad makeup artist and sometimes I'll see like white and that just is not okay. Okay, so now that I have the contour, the foundation, concealer, let's go ahead and set this with our powders. And for the under eyes, my favorite powder I like to use is from RCMA. This is the No Color Powder. It's like Laura Mercier or Kat Von D Translucent but kind of better because it's so thin and finely milled. So when you apply it and pack it, oh shit. Oh! When you pack it underneath the eyes and bake, it's gonna be smooth, but you're not gonna have like a heavy cakiness. Sometimes I feel like the Laura Mercier translucent gets so heavy and cakey, so I don't love it. But RCMA is very good and light, so check it out. And it's so cheap. I feel like it's like 10 bucks. The reason why I like a brush like this, like a foundation brush, is because see how it packs it under the eyes flat? If we use a fluffy brush, it's just gonna get all over the place, it's gonna get in our eyeballs, and we're gonna go blind and it's not gonna be okay. Wait, I'm filming. Get out. Okay, and now we're gonna apply the other powders. Y'all know that I love Hello Flawless from Benefit. It's my favorite powder to put on the face because it creates just like a flawless, buttery, silky, velvet finish. It is hands down the best powder that I've found in the industry. So the shade that I love all over is Champagne. This is what it looks like. And then another shade that I really like is Toasted Beige. Looks like this. Okay, so we're just pressing it onto the skin. Press, press, press. Looking all smooth. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and contour the nose now, and I'm gonna be using my nose protector. 
It's my favorite brush, the best brush for contouring the nose. And we are gonna be using some of a toasted beige again from Benefit just to outline where we wanna put the contour and then we'll do the bronzer over that. So it's just be creating soft shadows for where we wanna put the darker bronzer. You could get away with just doing this for your nose contour, it's really soft. But if you want a little bit more of like a fierce glam like I always do, then we will do bronzer. So the bronzer that I'm using today is a new one as well. I just got this package sent to me from Estee Lauder, so I wanted to try a lot of their stuff because it is so beautiful. So this is the Bronze Goddess collection. So pretty. Look at it, it's like tortoise or turtle. And this is what it looks like inside. Comes with this, comes with this brush. And then here is the bronzer. So the bronzer is like a beautiful, it's almost like a taupey brown. And I do see that it has a little bit of like gold sparkle to it. So it looks matte with like a little bit of shimmer. But this shade, it just looks so pretty to contour with. So let's go ahead and start bronzing up. When I apply bronzer, I don't apply it all the way where I applied my contour. Let's just do a little bit up here to enhance it. And the blush that I'm gonna be using today is also new. It's from MAC and it is called Cheeky Bits, which is like the cutest name ever. And it does have a little bit of shimmer to it. Okay, this is like so pretty. It looks a lot like Orgasm from NARS, so I'm interested to see how similar it is. But this is absolutely beautiful. So we can go ahead and do our brows, which would be my next step, and then we'll move on to the eyes. And I'll be pretty quick with it, so because my brows take like way too long, because do you see how pathetic these are? They're like sad, sad. So I'm gonna be using, I'll show you guys what I've been using lately for my brows, super cheap pencil that is so good. This is LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in medium brown. I'm gonna have to do a full tutorial for my brows for you guys, but I'm just gonna speed through the process of how I do my brows. Okay guys, so I was looking back at my phone for a reference of what kind of look I wanted to do. So I'm gonna do my version of her look kind of mixed into a few. This was like the first photo that I found that is really peachy. I love her eyes in it and her lip shade, but her eyes are like very, very simple. And then I loved this look as well. You guys can see her eyes are a little bit more detailed. But this was originally the look that I loved and kind of inspired me to do this look because it has a lot of peach tones and peachy cheeks and she has a lot of peach in her eyes. Sorry, there's like a glare. But I'm gonna do like bronzy, peachy look. So let's recreate this. So the palette I'm gonna be using today is from Morphe and it, it is 35N. And this palette has so many beautiful neutral shades in it and it is all matte. That's why I love it so much. I love anything that has matte in it. So we're gonna be using a lot of these brown shades as well as these peachy tones. They don't have names, so I'm just gonna point to them on here. So the first shade that we're gonna be using on the eyes is the second shade in the palette. It's this really nice vanilla shade to go over top of our primer. And the brush I'm gonna be using is from Chanel. It is the large eyeshadow brush. So we're just gonna pack that all over the eye. And then we're gonna go ahead and apply this shade. It is the shade down from the first one. And I'm gonna be using the same brush. It's a really nice taupey brown. So the next shade that I'm gonna be applying is this peachy shade. Don't do the one farthest here because it's really, really pinky peach. We'll do the one right in the middle. And the brush I'm gonna be using is Chanel Eyeshadow Blender Brush. And we're gonna apply this right onto the eyelid. 
and windshield wiper motion. Now we have our peach tones and everything, let's go ahead and add some shimmer into this look. I'm going to be using the Jouer Springtime in Paris Matte and Shimmer eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to be using the shade True Gold, which is this beautiful shade right here. I'm focusing on the center of the eye and just pressing. Just like that. Okay, so now we are ready for the eyeliner. She always wears a really pretty small wing liner and a lot of her looks, they have brown liner in them. So I love brown liner, I prefer brown liner. I used to be like only black wing, super sharp, super long. But for her looks, I'm gonna do something a little bit more tiny. And my favorite brown liner is from the Mariah Carey and MAC collaboration and it is called this is my night looks just like this it's a really pretty liner goes on really wet and it dries to a matte soft brown guys I just got kittens here's one of them He doesn't like to be held. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, he's gonna... No! They're both boys, and I'm trying to figure out names right now. But I've wanted kittens forever. I'm so excited that I've got them. I wanted to try a new pair of lashes, so today I'm gonna be using Esquito Lashes. I've used them before. I use a lot of Lily Lashes, but when they sent these to me, I was like, these are so pretty. You're gonna hear my kittens whining because they are so cute. So sorry, that's what that noise is. But I saw these lashes and I thought that they were so pretty and I loved how they flared out at the ends. Cause I feel like Kylie's lashes always look really just like flared and then really pretty wing towards the outer corner of, of her eyes. So this is what the lashes look like, you guys. They are a half lash, I feel like, but my eyes are pretty small, so I feel they will cover most of my eyes. But this is them, and the style is called Eve. Fuck. Be sure not to get glue in your eye because it burns. So the mascara that I'm going to be using, and I'm purely using this for the packaging because it's so beautiful, this is the Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte. This is so gorgeous. It just looks like unicorn mermaid beautifulness. I'm gonna be applying bottom lashes as well because all the Kardashians, they always have the fluffiest, longest bottom lashes. And I feel like most of them, those are real. One of the only things real on them, but I'm not one to judge. Um, but their lashes always look so long on the bottom. I need some fakies, so the ones that I use are the single short black elegant lashes. These are just one single hair. Okay, so I have these large lash tweezers from Tarte. They're called Tartiste. And I put a little bit of the glue right there on the plastic. And what we're gonna do is we just pick it up, dip it in, and place it on top. I make it sound so easy. So we're just laying it on top. So I'm gonna put around five on each eye. If you wanna go more in, you can, but if you don't want to, you can apply a little bit more mascara into the inner part of the eye. But this is how it should look when, it's all, when it is all done. And be careful as well when you blink. Sometimes the top lash will get stuck to the bottom lash if it's not dry enough. So just let them dry and then they honestly will stay all day if you have them intact pretty good. And they look really pretty and they open your eyes up so, so much. So 
So I have finished the top lashes and the bottom lashes. What do you guys think? Done with this look. This is definitely going the area that I want it to, but we need to highlight because we're missing the most important part. And for highlighter, I actually just got this Tom Ford makeup in. So I'm gonna open these and see what one I wanna highlight with. So there's this one. Look how beautiful the packaging is. Oh! Ah. Angels sing when you open this. This is so pretty. Look how freaking funny! So pretty. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use this top one for my highlighter for sure. It looks super gorgeous. So I'm highlighting my cupids well. We need to highlight our schnoz. Taking the small side of my um, nose perfector brush. And I'm just highlighting the tip. Just the tip. And then just between the eyes. And the reason why we do it just between the eyes, this is actually what Harush, Harush, Kylie's makeup artist does. And it makes the illusion of a sloped nose. And I have been loving this brush lately for highlighting. This is the Morphe M510 brush. I just love the dome shape of it to highlight this part of the face. Wow, <laughs> that is so gorgeous. Let's just keep applying more. And I'm gonna use this bottom one just for up here. I love to highlight my forehead. Just, I do two little dots. Or, yeah, you know, I just do the whole thing. <laughs> this highlighter is goals. It's so beautiful. I don't know how much it is, but it's Tom Ford, so I'm sure it's a lot, but it's a very pretty goldy champagne color. Oh my beauty mess. All we needs to do is add the lip color and I want to wear a really pretty peachy lip and the one that I picked out is from YSL. It is shade 06. Looks like this. So pretty. It's just like a really pretty neutral peach. And then I'm going to do a little bit of gloss on top of it. This is Portobello Girl from Charlotte Tilbury. This lip is so creamy. It's like really comfortable. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. I hope you love how it turned out. I love that it's glowy and dewy and definitely wearable for any event. Comment below and let me know what you guys think and let me know also what you want to see in the next video. And definitely please subscribe so you can see more of my looks. Love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized. By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Oh my god! <laughs> what? Oh my god! Did he just get on your jellyfish bite? Yeah, with his like... No! What? His name is gonna be Devil! <gasps>